Hello and welcome to Grand Arena Championships. I'm Heathen13. This is Season 13, Week 3, Round 3. My opponent this match is got a Ukrainian name, which Google translates as Cop Old Man. Or I guess Old Man Cop. So let's look at the matchup. All right, the hotbot shows that I have the majority of the green, so let's zoom in to take a closer look. The statistics show that I have an advantage across the board, but my opponent does have 376,000 lifetime banners, so he does play and is successful at least some of the time. We are in the quote unquote finals this round, so he's won his last two battles at least. He's got almost a thousand offensive wins, he's got over 300 defends, goes undersized some, so not a bad opponent at all. In terms of our roster, I do have a slight GP advantage overall, top 80, top 65. I've got 21 more Zetas and a huge speed advantage. My average top 80 is 92 and his is 56. I also have more G13s, but he has more G12s. There in the mods, you can see my advantage on speed. The one place that my opponent has the advantage is in his relic levels. He's got about 20 more relics than I do. And you can see he's got five tier seven relic characters to my one. So let's look at his roster, see if there's anything to be seen. Okay, first thing right off the bat, you can see he's running home one in his fleet arena. And if we look at his capital ships, he has finalizer and Radis. He doesn't have either the negotiator or the malevolence. In terms of characters, you can see his Palpatine and Vader are both relic. The big thing for him is his first order. He's got relic seven Kylos. Another thing you can see is General Skywalker down at the bottom in the middle is only six stars. Now, to be honest, when I looked at his roster, I didn't think a whole lot of it. Nothing stands out to me as a glaring deficiency or something I need to worry about. The issue I ran in with uh, my opponent was his GAC history. He is on SWGH.GG, and I did scout him like I always do, but he threw me some curveballs on what he put on defense. He put a couple teams on there that he's never put according to his history. So the teams I kept don't necessarily match up with him well. So I'm worried I might struggle. Let's look at the board and see what I put and what he put. All right, you can see he's already attacked. He's cleared one zone. So up front, I put my Padme, a Shock with a couple clones, and a Newt squad, and he did drop a battle against my Newt, Sunfact, and Django. Then in the back, he saw my Darth Revan. He hasn't even attempted any of the teams back here, so he could come back theoretically and clear some more. Up front, try to get through this to get to the ships, and he did clear this Poggle with droids, and Asajj, Zombie, and Dooku, but he took five tries against Grievous, couldn't get through, and three tries against this timeout Basila team and couldn't get through. So he may just not have any good teams left to challenge the back zone. On his defense, he set a Boss Bounty Hunters, some Ewoks, this Hux team, and then the Jedi Knight Revan squad was something he has literally never set according to his history. Now, he probably said it the rest of this week, but nothing that I could find prepared me for that. So that one's something I, I worry about being able to get through. Down below, he set this Darth Revan squad. I was aware of that and had fully planned to try and multi-shot that. He set a Phoenix squad, but his crew and Kylo, he also has not set according to his history, so I wasn't prepared for that. I'm not sure if I can clear either of his Revens. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ignore the bottom for now. I'm gonna do my best to clear the top as efficiently as I can and get through the top zone and the ships to secure the win. And then I'll come back down here and see what I can do. So having said that, let's go to the top and see what we can do. All right, let's just get it out of the way from the get-go, this Ewok is definitely just a solo nest. So we'll put this on auto and hit fast forward.
All right, Ness coming in with the 55. Next, we'll go after the Bounty Hunter squad with my JTR. We'll get the Wiggle, we'll get the Wave, and we'll go after Boba after we hide everybody. Burning up. More wiggling. It's alright. Cad with his uh, stun there. Maybe I should have gone after Cad first, but I don't think it's that big a deal. Either way. Now we'll go after Cad Bane. Get the wave back up on the boss so he can't taunt. See if I can get it done. Nope. Should be close to illuminate destiny here. I think it should time up. Should time together pretty well. One more wave. There we go. Let's see if I can get a stun. Yes. Illuminated destiny. Ooh. So my BB-8 is still not fully healed. Um, but I don't think I'm going to get to another Illuminated Destiny, even if I stretch this out. Oh, we'll try. At this point, he's totally under wraps. Yeah, no. Nothing happened. All right, 53. All right, versus Hux. First Order Squad, I will go in with... Lando plus Chupio, and hopefully uh, Chupio will be able to get it done. Let's go right after uh, Executioner. We'll call Lando, so Chupio assists anyway. Get blind so they can't hit me. And let's target Hux, because I think the AoE is going to kill Executioner anyway. Don't kill Chupio. He's all my damage. And that should do it. Not good banner, but a one shot. Alright, so here's the battle that I'm worried about. The plan here is going to be Treya. I'm still debating whether or not I should put Thrawn in instead of Scion. Thrawn gives me a lot more control, also gives me some healing. Scion gives me a taunt, but the taunt doesn't really matter because they're gonna mark somebody anyway. So I think I'm gonna put bring in Thrawn. So let's grab Scion, or grab Scion out and put Thrawn in. Now the plan is just to basically get Nihilus uh, to annihilate by trying to shut down everybody else. So we're gonna fracture Revan. We're gonna isolate GK. We're gonna keep doing cooldowns on, uh, try to get the cooldown done, you know, figured out on uh, Nihilus. We'll attack Jolie while we while we can. Pass that back over to Nihilus. Revan is the only real damage threat here. So as soon as I can get Revan out, what we'll do, I just need Nihilus to live. So we'll shut Revan down again. And there we go, Revan. Get the isolate back up. Let's heal up on Treya. And honestly, I don't even need to kill anybody with anything but annihilate because um, you know Savior is still gonna proc and and all that. So let's go ahead and fracture him. 
Right now, it's just a matter of biding my time, trying to stay as healed up as possible so that I can uh, get as many banners as possible. This is definitely 100% gonna work, which is super exciting for me. I was not sure since all of his were Relic and my Treya and my uh, Nihilus are both gear 12. I think bringing in Thrawn was definitely, definitely, definitely the right uh, choice. Let's get another heal there. Again, I'd rather not kill him just from normal damage because he's going to come back. But I think I'm going to, yeah, he's probably going to die and come back from the savior. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I get lucky here. Yep, get lucky. And 53. I was missing protection on somebody, but that is still way cleaner than I expected that. So that is fantastic. And gets me to the ships. Where he's got a finalizer and a radis. Alright, I gotta be honest. I don't know which one's better against which. Um, he only has two reinforcements here on this radis. And it's really low stars, four stars. Uh, he's got a mismatch of people. So I'm going to use my home one against this one. Mainly because I worry about getting hunted put on Millennium Falcon. If I go against the finalizer, that's probably a ridiculous thing to worry about. Because I don't think that... Uh, I don't even take Biston. No, I won't. We'll leave a space open because um, the finalizer I don't think it'll be nearly fast enough in order to get the first shot on my um, Millennium Falcon but that's why I'm not going after that. Go let's get rid of it. That, I think the AOE will take care of it the rest of the way. That and there we go. Could have gone with no reinforcements whatsoever. And then I have my negotiator here. And uh, we'll bring fives also. Probably a mistake. I probably should have put Rex in the starting lineup instead of Ahsoka. I just don't think he's going to get many or any uh, attacks or, or reinforcements in or anything. I think this should be another quick battle. Get him out before he can do anything. He's getting hunted out. And an AoE to steal some banners. And this should do it. Right. So I could have, again, gone a little lighter, but another 67. All right, so my top zone went better than I could have hoped for, honestly. I, according to the score, I already have the win, but I'm going to try in full clear. We'll go against this Phoenix with my Wampa, and we'll just let him solo. This should be quick. Couple counterattacks, couple regular attacks, and it should be all over. All right, so these are the two, and this is where I either can clear it or not. So we'll go after the Darth Revan first. We'll put in a burner team to try and get rid of all of their cooldowns. Uh, and then we'll see what we can do. There's the fear, there's their fear. Okay, so now that all their big cooldowns are spent, we will go back in with my CLS and we'll see if we can get Basilish on Fallen down. So Han will hit her twice, Chewie's gonna miss. And hopefully I get. Oh, come on, Chewie. Live, live, Chewie. 
go for the sun. Let's go for the sun. Didn't get the sun. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Okay, so here's the dilemma. I might be able to clean this up with my gas, but then I don't think I have anything for this crew. I have my Vader for the crew, which might work, might not. I'm pretty sure my gas will work for the crew though. But I don't see any way around it. I think, I think my only hope of getting through this is gas. So we'll do gas. The only problem is, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with the full gas fives Rex. And we'll give it a shot. Oh, that was a mistake. Miss hit. See if we can get Revan out. Because I have my crew that I could clean up um, Revan with. I did get a super clone, but I think he's gonna die right here. Oh, and I targeted the wrong person again. Come on. Live one more? No. Boner. Alright, yes. Alright, so the clear on that. Not the exact team I was hoping to use, but still works. All right, now we have to see if we can clear his first order. And we've got basically two squads to try and get it done. We've got Vader and we've got Jedi Knight Revan. My instincts tell me that my Vader is a better chance. I used, um, I already used my Thrawn there though. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Scion here. At least he'll be able to strip buffs and stuff. I have no idea if this works or not. I'm guessing not, but who knows? We'll see. It's the, the hope. And um, that's not gonna do a whole lot. Well, it did a bit. Get rid of the officer. It's annoying. Give him the PM. Alright, so officer's out. Next, I want to get rid of um, OG Kylo if I can. Mm, this may not work either. Ooh, nice double stun. That was lucky. Alright, get back into Merciless. Uh, this is probably not going to work because I don't have healing immunity, so it's just going to take a big hit. So let's try. Oh, close. Oh, my hatred, that's good. Like, part of me thinks, you know, all these dots are bad, healing up Kylo, but the ability for Vader just to put a big hit out is what is potentially going to do it for me. Uh, and if I gotta clean up, I gotta clean up. And if he's got anything good in the back, I'm screwed. Alright, so down just to OG Kylo. He's got the annoying, uh, got the annoying ability to counterattack me, though. Yes! Nice! I did not know if that was gonna work. That is epic fantastic all right let's see what is in back see if he left anything back there that i need to worry about mm. so he's got a phasma team really low uh so night sisters i do have my crew squad left and then that newt squad i have my geos left Looks like I am in good shape. All right, so let's go after the toughest battles first. We'll go after the Newt with Geos. 
and then we'll go after those Night Sisters next after that. Get Newt down one. Let's actually see if we can just one-shot Dooku. No, not even close. There we go. Kill Newt once. Oh. Got a bonus turn there. We gotta wait for um, Django's damage immunity to come off, so we'll just do basics here while we wait. Uh, let's clear all that burning off of him. We'll just wait for him to go. There we go. And this should be over quick. Only a 52. Lost some uh, protection on that big hit that he put. But the banners don't matter anymore. I'm just so excited that to get through those squads up front. I really did not think I was going to gonna make it. All right, nice sisters. We got crew with Watt. Got our weapons tech, and we got a stun. We got our or a tanking tech, weapons tech. Go after Tal's in here. We'll take some banners away. Again, doesn't even matter. The fact that I'm going to get this full clear is uh, remarkable to me. I Like, I don't think this uh, my opponent's roster was anything incredible. and But just the fact that his defenses were so different than what I expected, I, I would have kept different teams. I think I would have kept Padme. Um, I think I just would have played it a little differently had I expected to... Had I been prepared. Um, so good job from him, on him for changing things up. All right, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get a uh, feat done. There's a feat currently for Bosk or for Mando and Grief to get a kill together. So we'll bring in Bosk as the lead and we'll see if we can't. Let's get five uh, red out of here right away, hopefully. And all of these is there. Nice. I think you even get a nice little Grief Karga um, portrait for this feat as well. So definitely wanted to stoke that I can get this done as well. And 54. Nice. Which just leaves me a couple uh, Ewoks. So we'll bring in um, Revan and Grandmaster Yoda. That is definitely enough. And if it's not, then that's ridiculous. Um, Scout, Tebo, Lulgrey. Uh, I guess Scout has the most damage? I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's going to matter one way or the other. Let's get rid of that. So, not days. Get rid of him. And get rid of him for 55. Excellent. All right. The unexpected full clear. All right, so that is our final. 2637 to 1539. I'm not sure if my opponent's going to come back and clean up a couple of those squads in the back. I doubt he does since there's no way he can win. I want to thank my opponent for a really good match definitely enjoyed this one. Um, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next round.